I'm Mikey Pearson, and this is your UWW TV Sports Update. While Water and Women's Basketball hosted the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament, the Warhawks opened up their tournament with a game against Minnesota Morris. The Warhawks shot, started the game shooting 9 of 11 to jump out to a quick 19 to 8 lead. Whitewater led after the first quarter 26 to 14. Whitewater would not slow down in the second quarter, outscoring Minnesota Morris 32 to 8 in the quarter. They went into halftime with a 32 point lead. As a team, Whitewater shot 70% in the first half and would force 16 turnovers. The Warhawks emptied the bench in this one as Whitewater cruised to an 86 to 47 victory. Whitewater would advance to the second round where they would take on Milliken for a chance to advance to their third straight Sweet 16. Katie Hildebrandt got the scoring started for the Warhawks. Casey Corrala would answer, would answer right after with a three point to jump out to a quick lead. Corrala would not slow down as she would then pick up a bucket and the foul to extend the lead. Whitewater would use great playmaking from Corrala and Rundle who combined for 18 points on 70% shooting in the first quarter. Warhawks would wrap up the first quarter with a buzzer meter from Rundle to extend their lead 25 to 14. Whitewater did not slow down as they continued their hot start to the tournament, shooting well and extending their lead to 21 at the half. Whitewater was able to play great defense against the D3 Player of the Year, Elise Knudsen, holding her to, a ten, to only 10 points in the first half. Knudsen would do her best to bring Milliken back into the second half, but it would not be enough as they would not be able to stop Whitewater's offense. Casey Corrala would drop the first triple-double in women's basketball program history. The Warhawks will advance to host the next round of the tournament. They will face Hope in a rematch of the 2022 National Championship game. If the Warhawks are able to win this one, they face the winner of UW-Stout and Transylvania. We'll have more sports here on UWW-TV right after this. Warhawk Baseball comes into the season as the 22nd ranked team in the country. They would open up their season in San Antonio for a four game series against Trinity College. They started out on a good note, winning their first game of the season 14 3. Payton Smith would hit two home runs for the Warhawks in the win. Whitewater and Trinity would play a doubleheader on Friday. Whitewater jumped out to a quick 5 0 lead. The offense would not slow down as they would win the first game of the doubleheader 21 2. Game two of the doubleheader was the closest of the weekend as Trinity would win this one 7 8. Whitewater would lead most of the game until a grand slam from Trinity in the bottom of the seventh to take the lead and that would add an RBI double to make it an 8-6 lead. Whitewater would add a run to top in the top of the ninth to make it a one-run game but would not be enough. Trinity would take the final game of the weekend 9-1. Whitewater finishes their opening weekend 2-2. Two two. For more sports news and other updates, check us out at uwwtv.org. I'm Mikey Pearson and this has been your sports update on UWW TV.